point to show for these lovely people that are being so patient. Do you want me to get started and then you can um, do it? Oh, yeah, let's, let's it take things out of order. Um, okay. Folks, Linda is a, the co-founder of Fund Duel, and it is an awesome platform that takes fundraising to a whole new direction. Um, I'm going to let her jump in and tell you all about Fund Duel because there's nobody that knows it like the, like the founder. <laughs> yeah. So hello, everybody. Um, really excited and grateful to be here tonight to share with you some really disruptive, amazing new technology that we've developed as a result of being in a nonprofit and having to raise money and knowing the pains of raising money. And we have developed with my daughter a uh, fun duel, which is a gamified, disruptive, democratized uh, fundraising platform. I want to tell you a little bit about my background. I'm uh, have a PhD. Study, I'm really an anthropologist, sociologist. I have a background studying what motivates people to get involved in something, and also um, the neurochemical and psychological system that we have that motivates us to negative behaviors such as addiction to violence, which we are as human beings. We're also addicted to social media. But at the same time, there are powerful motivation systems within humans that motivate us to get involved in fun things and to do good to other people. We get a reward system, uh, an amazing neurochemical rush when we um, help somebody else. It gives us a high. So it, it's what you probably, because you're in the nonprofit space, you get really great, great rewards by helping other people. We also have fun when, and we get a neurochemical rush when we laugh, when we do something fun, uh, when we create, when we work with a team to solve a problem. That's really motivating. Competition is a huge motivator. If you think about sports, business, I'm a big Broncos fan. And whenever the Raiders come into town, I get so passionate. It's very motivating when we win and we beat the Raiders. Um, the competition actually motivates people to get involved in the fundraising space. We can actually have fu a, a fun competition that's collaborative, where we actually raise money for a good cause. So my research led me and my daughter to create FunDuel because we saw that there was a real lack of innovation in the technology sector. If you think about it, GoFundMe has been around for uh, about 10 years. Kickstarter, Indiegogo, Classy, all of the big fundraising platforms are 10 years old. Now in the tech space, that is ancient. And GoFundMe is a, a model that is a click and donate. Um, I've got a crisis. I'm an individual and I've got a problem. Can you it's a beg and donate pro protocol. And that doesn't work well for organizations. Now, I just want to tell you where the fundraising, fundraising sector is going. You as a nonprofit leader need to pay attention to what's happening in the marketplace. With COVID, everything has become virtual. <laughs> ah, yay, Darrell. Oh, I, I'm going, so, so if you don't mind, I'm going to keep going. Please continue. Um, Please continue. Thank you, Darrell. Um, so, so what's happening with the trends? Um, what, what the CEO of Classy has mentioned is that e-commerce took over the brick and mortar retail space. If you can see what's happened, especially during COVID, um, the people that were building shopping centers had no idea that within uh, a few years, 1,500 malls in the U.S. were going to be shut down. That's because e-commerce took over. You've got to pay attention because the same thing, the same trend is happening in the fundraising world. Everything is going online. 60% of donations are made on the phone. Um, it, the trend, um, you, you should see that, you know, um, Omaze is doubling year over year. Um, and the business for GoFundMe is 300% year over year. It's just escalating. And 
what I saw this last year during COVID is there was a huge panic um, going on with nonprofits. I saw personally many nonprofits panic. Um, they were paralyzed. They didn't know what to do with their fundraising events that they had already planned. And many of them shut down um, after years and years of working because they didn't adapt to what was happening. Well, this trend that happened with COVID and virtual events well, is continuing wow. today. And so, so um, I want to share with you what we've done with FunDuel and some of the massive success stories we've had and why it, it's really important to work with uh, us because we expand your donor base. We give you massive visibility on social media. Uh, we increase your donations and we actually, um, your corporate partners will love us because they get exposure all over social media. So I'd like to share with you a few of our really wonderful success stories. So, um, um, hey, uh, uh, Linda, thank you yeah. so much for being here. I apologize for my turn to everyone. I'm glad Eli's here as well. This is our first time out and boy, did I run into technical issues and then I had people knocking on my door. I had all types of stuff going on. I was like, oh, and and I'm so glad I have Chris. He called me to let me know it was six o'clock. I was all tied up and had to just get my, my little scissors and cut myself loose there. So thank you all for being here. We are so honored to be here uh, representing TechSoup Connect Illinois. Um, for everyone on um, this call right now, uh, Linda is phenomenal. I know she's been telling you guys a little bit about FunDuel, but if, Linda, before you move forward, just giving the witness from the people who, like me, are champions of FunDuel, let me just share a little bit about how we met and how we came together Perfect. in regards to making sure that people understand how critical this is, especially Eli. Eli, this organization, buddy, is the left leg of what we're doing here at Ford TechSoup Connect in Illinois. Um, FunDuel is a major player in regards to taking new technology and gaming technology uh, and applying it to the fundraising element. Uh, it's nothing like I've ever seen anything like this ever. Um, and, and so what I want to do right now, I'm going to play a FunDuel video so you guys can be able to get uh, more essence in regards to how dynamic this fundraising platform is and why CFCI Foundation chose it as its foundation um, fundraising platform of choice. It's just phenomenal. So hopefully I'm going to do this right. I'm going to do the screen share. Eli, I don't know if you have controls, if you can help me here, but I'm going to try and do this. Uh, <laughs> um, I have a, a video queued. Uh, I guess I just show my full desktop. Let's go, let's, let's try it this way. And you guys, I hope you can hear it and everything. Here we go. FunDuel is a revolutionary gamified fundraising website. We use competition, challenges, live virtual events, and real-time online auctions to make fundraising fun and exciting. Sponsors love us because of how much we help grow their brand. How does it work? Instead of just asking donors to give directly to your cause, we turn it into a game. Donors give through a team that is raising money for your cause. The team that raises the most money wins. And that's not the only way to play. Each team can also set up a challenge. Teams ask their players to perform a video or photo challenge and post it to the team page. They can then share their challenge on social media and their friends can donate to the cause and team through that challenge. The video or photo that brings in the most donations wins the challenge. Through the excitement of competition and social media sharing, your donor base will grow exponentially as more and more players join the game. At the end of your campaign, FundDuel will provide your organization with all the new donor data to electrify your future fundraising. All the money raised from each team and from all the challenges goes to your cause. Sponsors will have their name and logo displayed on the campaign page. They can even sponsor a team. Anyone who donates will think of themselves as members of that team. What a great way to generate brand loyalty. If your fundraising is suffering... Okay. Um... 
I just heard from my coordinator, Brooke, that you guys could not hear or see the video. So, uh, Eli, can you help me out here, buddy? I'm trying to run a video. We could hear it, but we couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can hear it, but you can see it. Okay. Um, I don't think Eli is, he was here. I don't think he's here anymore. Oh, no. Did you press share screen? Uh, Chris is on. Chris got her screen going before. Okay. I, I yeah, just texted Chris. She didn't screen. get back to me. Chris, are you on, on in the room here? So, okay. so well, she's missing too. That's, we can, uh, I apologize. <laughs> well, Linda was going to share anyway. So let's just have Linda. Yeah, go ahead, Linda. Keep going. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know if you met Brooke before, but that's Brooke Bennett. Oh, yes. You've been yes. our facilitator. Okay, very good. Um, now I, I tested this out and now I'm, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Um, come on, come on. Okay, share. Here we go. Can can you see this? Here we go. It's interesting that you only see part of the screen. Well, that's funny. Hmm. What is can everyone see there? this? Yes, we can. I'm sorry, I was talking and I was on mute. Um, oh, all right. Um, notice also, Linda, that we're going to do this multiple times. So this is not going to be the only yeah, time we yeah. do this. Well, <laughs> it, right, it's it not together. showing the entire page. And I'm trying to figure out why I can't. Um, well, me, it looks like an entire page to me, at least. Can, can uh, you see? Is, is it, um, are you seeing scrolling down now? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, this is very odd. It's not like Zoom. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I know. That's another okay. thing too. All and, right, let, let me just uh, explain that that we are we use team based competition to raise money for a good cause. This is a mock up of uh, one competition that we're going to be doing on the Own it Network. Um, this was a producer of American Idol, Ron Deshay. He saw. Uh, our fun duel and he loved it and so what you see oh. here are um team, these i'm are right here and um so these are actually celebrities that are paired yes, up and i answered it major corporations hi chris we can hear you <laughs> um maybe you need to mute um and so we got justin beaver paired up with um uh amazon and how fun to works is that it's not just about the power of celebrity and corporate partners. And what we do is we democratize fundraising. We actually use the power of celebrity and corporate partners, but we can also allow people to join the challenge. And when you join the challenge, um, let me show you what you see. Uh, this is what you see, and this is what we're mobile optimized. So on your phone, you can select a photo or video or YouTube URL, and this is taking the selfie and you publish it to FunDuel. And when you publish it you, right here, it's going to appear under one of the teams. So um, this is so strange. I have to keep going off the screen to show you how this works. I'm going to show you another duel. This is um, St. Jude Research Hospital. It's done, so you see the results at the end. And what you have here is the leaderboard. And this actually happened. We raised 151000 And we put this together in one week, uh, actually about two weeks. So we put this together. Um, this was a canceled event. It was going to be 500 people in a ballroom. What they did for the team captains is that they used these wonderful um, media personalities in the Miami area. What's stunning about this is it was so successful. So um, we have a really fun challenge. This campaign went to over 400,000 people viewed this campaign. Imagine this was going to be 500 people in a ballroom. Now you have 400,000 eyeballs. This went all over the Caribbean, all over the world. 
there has not been a campaign that we have done that has not gone to, to different parts of the world. It's really stunning and amazing. So now you think about these corporate partners right here, they could be on a step and repeat or in a program, but now this is seen all over social media. And that's because of the magic of this wonderful join the challenge button, what they did for their challenge. And by the way, we always have a cause video that tells donors where their money is going. Um, it's really remarkable and wonderful to, to connect donors to the cause so they know what's happening. And of course, St. Jude does a wonderful job establishing and helping families with pediatric cancer. And what they did for their challenge was to bake a cake, smash it, and donate. And what you can see here is that families got involved, children got involved, youth get involved in these challenges. And what you see here is that um, you have these fun challenges. I don't know if you can see this, but this was really fun. So, so it's fun and it's share, shareable. What's great is that you have instant shareable shareability and you like this video by donating. Each one of these is its own page. So you can see this is its own page and it's shared. And this is this belongs to this person. And so this is where they, they see where they're at. And on each team, we're on the Gloria, our DAS team, it shows where it's ranked by where you are as far as your donations. If you're number one, you're 450. So you can see that this was a massive success for, for St. Jude. And last year we raised over 1.2 million for them. Um, we even have cases where a corporation like Disney can raise money for your organization. The goal of FunDuel is to have corporate philanthropy help you to raise money for you. In this case, this they were Disney was raising money for Wounded Warrior and they had the characters of the movie as team captains. And so as you go, I'm a Chewy Baca fan. And so what they did is they had a trailer for their movie. They had prizes. Prizes are very, are very motivating for people. It's unbelievable what people will do to win a prize. And they had a challenge to dress up as the character in the movie. So you can see here that they are um, a character in the movie and they're getting donations on it. What we are doing is democratizing fundraising in the same way that, that YouTube did with music. If you can remember, it used to be a privilege of giving. Um, it was a privilege for people to be able to access the record companies. Um, and then YouTube came along and made it uh, and allowed it for everyone to be involved. What the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge proved is that the people, the masses of people, can be very powerful with a fun challenge. They raised 115 and just 115 million in just two and a half months. So what's so I'm gonna um, go down here and I hope that you're gonna be able to see this. We've had some really wonderful, amazing, amazing campaigns for all kinds of different causes. I'm going to just see how this shows up. And I've got a, okay, what happened? Hmm. Are you guys with me? Um, I'm all here, all here all the time. I just did you did you did you see different screens? <laughs> it, it looks like um it may be a little slow as well. Uh, but I'm looking at oh. the screen, pink sponsored. Okay. Uh, so so you haven't pink. seen any of the other nothing's changed. Oh my, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. That's um it, huh. it should have. I don't know why it didn't. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I'm, I'm, I'm changing. Um, let me try to do something else. Let me try again. 
Thank you, Linda, for bearing with us on this. I this a first yeah, no, this all is of us. Okay. okay. Mm, here we go. And Let's I try this. Parents, parents, I don't know who you are, but thank you for being here, sir. Okay. All right, you can see this one. Um it's a very strange way of sharing, but anyways, Thanks. what we did, this is a small cause in, and this is a really remarkable case study and they had incredible results. This woman um, has an equestrian cause in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is a therapeutic riding uh, cause. They help special needs kids have experiences with horses. Every year she's done the gala. Now, so many people have tried to go back to the gala after COVID and, you know, it's a lot of work, a lot of planning and a lot of cost. What she decided to do is to go with FunDuel and not do an event at all, not spend the time, the money, um, all the resources, the labor in doing a gala event. So what she found is that within one month, she raised $301,000. This went all over the world. She had hundreds of new donors and the engagement that she had with her corporate partners was amazing. They gave more than they've ever given before because they had high visibility. You can see here that we have um, different banks that got involved, the Bank of Jackson Hole. Um, participated and they um, raised 85,000. There was a real rivalry between them and the board of advisors team. And you can see that the board of advisors raised 86,000. They had a really fun challenge and it was remarkable. She said that she would never go back to doing anything else but working with us because this was so successful. It was so easy. We, we branded the page for her and she loved it that, you know, we took a, a success fee on the back end, but we didn't have any cost up front. And so she loved it. This is all about social media and social media sharing. Now, let me see if this will allow me to scroll down and you can see, um, oh, hang on. Let me go to Bank of Jackson Hole. Hopefully this will catch up. Uh, it's moving. It's moving for us now. That's okay. All right. So what you see here is you see um, these are the selfies. This is taking the selfie, sharing it on social media, and this particular one raised twenty five thousand. Now we didn't have a whole lot of time to put this together, but just imagine if each of the employees there. These are some employees here that got involved. They raised ten thousand. So this is not just about a corporate check and the C-suite of a company getting involved, but this is about the employees getting engaged. And that is something that is really happening in the world today. Um, I'm gonna try again to share another page so you can see I missed. Yeah, every time you go to another page, I have to go out of sharing and then go back into sharing. Can you see this one? Yeah, there we go. So what I was telling you is this is actually an individual's page that joined the challenge and they're sharing this on social media and it shows where they rank on this particular team. So this is the smash a cake to smash cancer. And I'm going to go back to it and go back to the, oh, shoot. Um, here we go. Hopefully, can you see this? You can see it. Ha! Yeah. I'm so happy. Me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very, very different. Um, so what we have here are, these are the media influencers that I talked about. Um, and this was the St. Jude event. We actually had a virtual um, a screen on the page that was embedded for their virtual live stream. So you could just watch it right there, see what's happening to the leaderboard. What's fascinating about St. Jude is that they did auctions as well. And we outperformed any auction that they did. 
There's an interesting fact, and auctioneers will tell you this, that there's diminishing returns on the auction. Um, even though we do offer auction and we have silent auction, it's people aren't interested in trips anymore, especially during COVID. They're not interested in things. And the new generation doesn't care about auction. Now, the older people, that's very familiar to them. They will, they will still engage in that. But people are getting donor fatigue and gala fatigue. And every time we did something with St. Jude, uh, we massively outperformed their auction. In this case, they didn't even do one with us because they realized, you know what? The fun duel is actually way more successful. We get, this is the, the particular campaign that had 400,000 views and the donors were just thrilled um, and the, the corporate sponsors, I mean. So here are their corporate sponsors and you can see that, that you know, having 400,000 views was amazing. Um, and then they have the video. This is the cause video. Hopefully you can see that. I have to always check. Okay. So what I also want to show you is I'm going to go to Gloria or Daz's team. She was a TV personality. So what's great about getting media personalities is that you'll get them to shout out about it on TV and radio, which is a great idea. And so this is the particular video I was showing. You can hear it. So, so, is he, is he, so funny is shared 25 times more than any other um, content that's shared on social media. And that's why we get a rise. We get a neurochemical rise out of fun and we love to have fun. So this is a magnificent way for you to get your cause splashed all over social media. Other other people say, oh, we use social media. Not like this. Not where you can get 400,000 views of an event that we put together in just two weeks. And these corporate partners, I'm telling you, they were thrilled. Uh, they loved it. So we've, we have some wonderful um, global events coming up with Nelson Mandela concert where we are going to have everyone come to the stadium. 80,000 people will come to Wembley Stadium. Uh, we are the platform of choice. We use a QR code. They join a team. They donate. They raise money for a cause. They can win prizes to go onto the stage. We do a sporting event, and we have a partner in Brazil who's working with 16 soccer leagues to raise money for hospitals and medical care for soccer players that have been injured. So the possibilities of this are unlimited and it's super exciting. It's amazing what, what is happening right now um, because of what we have created. So I would love to um, just take any questions. I don't know if I've talked too long, but I am pumped up. We are a solution that, that will help you. And please do not do not go back to your old traditional ways because the world is changing. And if you don't change with it, you're going to get left behind. So that's, that's my it. final that's salvo. It. Awesome. Thank you so much, Linda. That was phenomenal. I know it's spontaneous. Uh, in fact, you were supposed to be toward the end. <laughs> I know. I you being in the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and Chris you didn't show also, up, so... Well, it, 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 it not just me, though, but Chris had a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation, and she simply could not get loaded. Uh, so we didn't have the slides for her to actually do her part, which is really talking about all the old traditional ways of fundraising, which is how we wanted to open it. And so, yeah. that, so you know, hey, we must be up to something very good with this because look at the challenge we had, but we're going to be all right. Um, again, uh, it was our first dry run. We made it late because of, well, I told you the strategy behind that. Um, but I really think that is phenomenal. This is my first with you in this capacity as well. And yes, you are definitely 
the choice. Uh, sorry, Dana. <laughs> Linda <laughs> Williams. <laughs> uh, on that note, um, however, we do have uh, Mr. Stewart uh, present. Um, I know everyone else in the room, um, but if uh, Terrence Stewart, if you have any questions, I think uh, we'll love to hear your comments about what you think about FunDuel. And maybe I can open your mic. Let's see here. Yeah, Darrell, I don't think everyone can talk because they're they have to be a host or presenter. Yeah, understood. Okay, well, I I did open his uh, his uh, mic, but I think it there's some questions up. on the um if they can put it in the chat. The um, chat. Yeah, I'm not sure. Then you can ask questions there. Nora is having trouble seeing the event. I'm not sure what's. <laughs> I, I'm asking her what uh, if she can see it or what's going on. She said, when does it begin? And we've begun 30 minutes ago. So, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I think we ought to do this again. And um, now we've got kind of the gist of it. Yeah. And we've broken the ice. And what I want to do is, uh, Linda, let's put together a schedule so we can do our own small dry runs with it before we really push forward with we the tried to do that today there. but you know they didn't allow us to do it yeah so. yeah um I, I think there is a way to set up a temporary uh site uh as if we're going to do uh the actual live presentation and since it's the same format we can build it up that way but that's something that we just need to practice uh well i I, I know that terrence has a as a really good cause and i'd really love to get connected with him and um share with his board or whoever he's involved with and um you know what what's really nice is to put together um yeah well in that, uh, you know, in that some case, team captains uh, and and yeah. push it out the the whole idea of team captains is powerful because you can have companies as team captains, friends. One woman in Phoenix actually had just, she got 27 team captains. She made each one of them uh, donate a hundred dollars to be a team captain. And she raised 85,000 without it, without a team, without a board, without anybody. She just used her friends and companies that they knew and she was really, really pleased. She was hoping to raise 25 and she raised 85. So if you do it right and you use the tools the way you can, you do that without an event. That's awesome because let's see. Someone is Terrence. Hi. Yes. I do not have any questions. I think this is a great platform for fundraising. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, what I'm doing is I'm putting in links as well. And thank you, Terrence says, what does he say there? Drop me an email. There you go. Um, yeah, and so sure. Terrence, you can also go and register onto the FunDuel platform with the link that I just put there, uh, fundraising.cfcifoundation.org. And what that would do is it would let FunDuel know that you were on this call, on this event, uh, as well as, um, um, being able to provide you with access immediately to be able to get a review and even more detailed uh, involved and so where we can immediately get you uh, active on some type of campaign strategy. So that's that's how it usually starts. Um, Nora says, I think you're are referring to an event from our New York chapter. I should put my um, email in here. Where is the chat? <laughs> Um, oh, there it is. Okay. So, yep. um, oh, yeah, I had to find it as well. Okay, I see now rooms, attendees. Okay, six. Excellent. Uh, I think a couple of my people dropped off early, but I'll send them this information. Uh, Dr. Cullum was on, she is the executive director of. Uh, True Believers Community Connections. They're a great organization in uh, on the south side of Chicago. Um, so I will make sure she, she she just dropped off a few minutes ago. It looks like so. Um, okay. Well, I would love to have gotten a video gun. Uh, wow, you know that video would have made a, a big difference. It's so detailed, so oriented. Yeah, actually, when you share. Um, you, you don't do your whole, you go to, um, when you share it's, it, you, there's a Chrome tab 
and that's what I how I shared is is there's the entire screen and then there's the um, Chrome. Tab. There's Eli. Hey, Perfect. Linda is giving you the exact answer. I was just about to pop it and say you've totally figured it out, which is to say, yeah, when you're sharing a video to make sure the audio is included, you have to use the share Chrome tab option. Um, oh. So that's how the only way that has the audio come through. Otherwise, basically, you get all the, the background notifications on the computer. So that's why they've restricted that way. But yeah, so Linda had the exact right answer for you. Yeah, but uh, it's it's a very different way of sharing because I had to go back and forth between my tabs and see what was happening and then scroll down there instead of being able to, you know, usually I can scroll on the screen, but I had to keep going back to the actual page. So anyways, very interesting and very different. But um, Terrence, I, I tried your email and it didn't work. So I put mine in the chat and it's Linda at funduel.com, F-U-N-D-D-U-E-L.com. So if you can email me, that would be great. Um, Cause I'd love to connect with you and anyone else who is on this call that wanted to um, raise money. Yeah, <laughs> which is what it's all about. And again, uh, we had a few hiccups, a few technical challenges this time. I had connection issues. I ended up late because I couldn't get connected. It's just things got in the way. But uh, I'm sure we do a lot better next time. And we want to do these more often. Um, I know that our next schedule is probably for February. But there are other things that we can do before February that I believe will bring more attention to what's happening with uh, with our fund dual stuff. And yeah, yeah. This um, makes perfect, right? is, is, a, is a good giving month. So I would yeah. suggest doing this again, if you can. Um, yes. Um, December. Yeah, we can. I, I think we can. I think we pull it off and we're just making something special. Um, all right. Well, uh, Chris, um, were you successful at least getting your PowerPoint together? Uh, Chris was mm -hmm. not able to get the PowerPoint up to do the presentation from her end. And so, wow, Linda, not only were you a special guest for us today, but you were a lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Uh, yes. Well, um, appreciate Chris, it. Thanks for the Chris, are you there? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm here. I was checking to see. I'm not sure how it's going to show, if it's going to show full screen or if it's going to, you know, show in I the think, working mode. Well, Eli is here now. He can help tell us exactly what you should do and what you want. Uh, Chris? Yeah, try the Chrome tab. I have no clue. And then on the, on the top, when you click Chrome tab, you can um, actually try to find. Okay. Yeah, sorry, just to be so clear though, uh, Chris, are you sharing from PowerPoint itself, like the uh, the desktop application or from a, something in a web browser? It's from the desktop. Uh, then you will in this case actually want to do share screen and do the entire screen. So that way it can gotcha. find that PowerPoint as well. Okay. Share. Okay. Let me skip down here a little ways. Um, let me know if you can see it. I'm talking about fundraising and technology. Success. Cool. Uh, okay, but you know, so many times we get locked into the old way of doing things, and it's like Linda said earlier, people used to have galas all the time, and now we're bringing them a new technology. One of the things we have to look at is the definition of insanity. It's doing the same things and expecting different results. This is about showing you ways to do more. One of the first things you need to do is to develop a year-long calendar. Decide what events or what details you're going to have and when you're running those campaigns. And keep a level of variety in your plans. Things that will affect your campaign choices. Look at the other campaigns near you. You know, weather, seasons, sporting events, holidays, 
festivals and concerts and the interest of your supporters. What do they want to support? You know, we're not going to have a lot of support if I have a soccer tournament and the bulk of my supporters are 80 year old ladies. Some campaign ideas if we're running real world events. You know, there's auctions and bake sales and dinners and galas and dances and product sales, donations, trips, run, walk, car shows. You could do a lot of those same things in the virtual world. All right, uh, Chris, we're looking yes. at your whole screen right now. We can see before you click on them and all that. Is that what you wanted to do or you just wanted to? No, have... not really. Okay, so uh, you want to try and see if you can get the full screen on there. Um, Eli, what we're trying to do is, if you notice there, there's words at the bottom of the screen that will help the presenter, but then there should be the full screen, but the people in the audience shouldn't see that. But it, we're, so we're, <laughs> we're, we're kind of fumbling here, buddy. Um, I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember. Linda, you've been helping so far, girl. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So we're, we got to go through this. Yeah, yeah. She should start from the, um, there was a slide that said from the beginning. Um, there was a tab up on the, the top that said start from the beginning. Right. Um, you need to go to your um, slideshow. There you go. Okay. There it Perfect. is. Perfect. Okay. One of the biggest I have things in your arsenal has to be your website. And so often we have websites that don't really tell people what they need to know. You know, if your website has who you are, what you do, who you serve, how you serve, and then you, how the reader can help. And if you have a shopping cart on your website, make sure that it's got an SSL certificate. These are probably the two most powerful words that you can have on a website. These need to be on most of the pages. And this needs to be a hyperlink so that when people click on this button, it instantly transports them to the secure donation window. When we look at technology, we have uh, the three different varieties. Traditionally, we have radio, television, and online or print ads. Now we need to add social media into that list. These are the top crowdfunding platforms throughout the world. You, it's possible for anybody to put any crowdfunding solution on any of these platforms. But if you, for example, go with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang at the bottom, that one is specifically targeted to entertainers and artists. So if I've got a social cause for cancer, I'm probably not going to raise a lot of money there. So tailor which crowdfunding, which crowdfunding you use to your goals and who your audience is. These are the top eight mobile apps in this country. These are, are places where people can donate from their phone, secure platforms. These are the social media rankings. Facebook is still the number one with 2.7 Average monthly users, $86 billion in revenue, it's launched in 2004. And again, you want to look at the platform and visit with your supporters and see which ones they, you know, which ones they frequent. Facebook is mostly senior citizens anymore. The 20 and 30-year-olds are Instagram and TikTok. So tailor your presence to your audience. This is a section on writing amazing appeals. If you're going to write an appeal letter, consider your goals, your audience, your communication tools, your timing, and your past performance. Components of an effective appeal. They have a clear call to action, a sense of urgency, and impact statements about what donations of different sizes accomplish. Stories are a natural form of communication that have been used for thousands of years. There's a reason. 
They allow us to feel by creating an emotional and sometimes a physical reaction. Uh, Tearjerker movies and suspense novels, they're proven to be easier to remember. And they're more likely to be shared, which is important for spreading your message. When it comes time to make the ask, after you ask the money question, he who speaks next owns it. So when I ask you for that $100 donation, if I speak next, you're going to get off with not paying. If I sit and wait patiently and you speak first, chances are I will get money. So when you ask for the clear, make sure you have clarity, specificity, urgency, and your messenger. How's it being delivered? Make sure your call to action is highly specific, feasible, have it as a first priority, be free of barriers, and be filmable. Be filmable means that you want other people to be able to see themselves in the, in the action role. You want people to be able to see themselves helping somebody across the street or fixing a meal for somebody or hanging somebody's shutters or sweeping snow or whatever. But they need to be able to see themselves in that role. Statistically, they're more likely to give at a higher donation level. We all get so many emails, it's real possible to get lost in the email box. Your email has to be visually appealing. Remember that giving is personal. Show the real impact of a potential gift. You know, what does $10 buy? What does $100 buy? Provide a feeling of connection to your charity and make it mobile friendly because probably 75% of all donations now happen on a phone or tablet. A suggestion for your next appeal from the subject line, salutation, interesting open, the first call to action, how they can help, a second call to action, and a PS. Beyond your appeal, make giving easy. Keep donors in the moment of giving and start your relationships off right. Part of keeping them in the moment of giving is the more you can convert to monthly donations, the more money you'll raise. You know, if I'm going to give $100 a year or $10 a month, as a charity, I want that $10 a month because it puts my cash flow in a better position. And ultimately, I get more money. Sponsorships. Zoho Corporation has crafted a marvelous suite. The suite has probably 45 or so different apps. Everything from bookkeeping to CRM programming, uh, scheduling, inventory tracking. It has all the apps necessary to run your business. And it does so much more affordably than many other programs out there. One of the advantages to Zoho is all of the apps can communicate with each other. So if I enter Jane Doe in the CRM portion, it automatically makes her available for bookkeeping and invoicing. I don't have to re-enter her information. It's a super program. Amazon Smile and eBay for Charity are two programs that all charities should, per should participate with. Um, all you have to do is once you are enrolled, publicize to your supporters that when they shop on these two places, if they will shop through the, the Amazon Smile program or through the eBay for Charity program, your organization will receive a donation. This is at no additional cost to the donor. Fun duel, we talked about at length. Uh, next meeting, we'll be talking about fundraising in 2022. How do you write a year's plan? 
What do you put in it? That's it. Questions? Well, what do you think, Linda? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you've got a great um, TechSoup is amazing. And I think um, Terrence found out about you through TechSoup. And so I would really market through them. I think you need to get more people here, but I'm glad that there weren't more people. So Terrence, you're, now you're, you, you caught you're, up with you're me. A, you're a champ, Terrence, for hanging in there with us. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to practice and um, see how tech suit technology was, but we've got the world is our oyster and let's let's um, get more people on next time and well, share with the, them. The next time, what, well, what, what we didn't do is we, we wanted to um, see how many people will come with just the tech suit uh, marketing as well. Uh, it again uh, is late six o'clock you know, after hours per se on the Friday where, you know, people really have to be caring about the extra. That's one special thing about Terrence being here. It shows he well, really I, I think, care yeah, about I think most people on a Friday night want to um, yeah. cut out and do some, something fun. So Thursday, yeah. Wednesday and Thursday evenings are great and they're a better time. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to be uh, targeting uh, those Wednesdays and Thursday evenings as well as we have a lot of other marketing uh, activity that needs to happen behind these that didn't happen as well. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, as you can see, Chris and I, we tried, we just fiddled with it and fiddled with it. And we know Eli is so busy as well. We just need to, we need to work on our technology and getting it to where it's yeah. smoother. And, 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 advertise yeah. on Facebook, but also just ask people to get it, to, to come and get involved and um, you'll, you'll yeah. do great. I'm sure we will. And you can see Brooke had a few people come with us as well. That was a good uh, chip off the old block, even though it was spontaneous. Thank you, Brooke. Yeah, as always, <laughs> she's fabulous. <laughs> um, oh, well, on that note, it's coming to the top of the hour. Uh, I think we've basically covered everything. Huh. Um, Brooke, go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying, yes, it'll, it'll get bigger. You know, uh, more, we'll put more energy into marketing ourselves. So <laughs> thank you, Linda, for your time on this one. Yeah, you bet. And um, I'm sure next time we'll, uh, we'll get it together earlier. And now this is like a dry run. So it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we'll have to talk about Mandela and other great things. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. Super cool Absolutely. things. Come yeah, in. Calling you and Dana. Yeah. All great. right. Excellent. Well, so, okay. Take care. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good for all this opportunity. Yeah. We're grateful to have you. Okay. <laughs> all right, Drew, I'll call you later. All right. Thank you, dear. Bye-bye. I'm hungry. <laughs> Bye. Well, I hear you there. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>